What's up everybody, it's Aaron here. Seriously, gear? Why'd you freaking interrupt me? I'm gonna shut my watch off. Stupid watch. There, killed it. Killed the watch. Interrupting my video. What's up everybody, it's Aaron here. And I wanna show you guys how to do a green screen, the proper way of doing it. What you shouldn't do and, and the best practices for it. A friend of mine wanted me to do this, so I figured I'd do it for all you guys. If you like what you've seen so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Anyways, now that I got that out of the way, let's get to that green screen tutorial. Okay guys, so you need to set up a green screen. If you don't have one already, you can find them on Amazon, auction websites. You can even go to a fabric store and get one uh, just a post to chroma key green as you can get. You can also paint your wall. There's all kinds of ways you can do this, but I highly recommend looking at auction websites because I actually found a whole kit for about 25 bucks. So you can get them pretty cheap, and that includes everything, green screen and all. Also, you want to make sure you light the green screen separately from yourself. You want to put about, you want to put one light on each side of it and try to light it evenly. Then set up your set about five feet or more away from the green screen so you don't cast a shadow or spill. Okay guys, this is actually really easy. First, you wanna make sure you get your footage that you recorded from your green screen. You also wanna make sure you have a background or background clip and you wanna put it at the very bottom. Now, once you get that done, the very first thing that I need to do here, because the green screen doesn't cover the whole area, we need to mask out the area that's not green screen. Make sure you got your clip selected and then go to the pen tool and we'll go ahead and mask out the screen here. I have to go around my feet, made it a little bit more difficult for myself here. Normally you want to try to have everything that's you want to green screen out in your green screen. In my case, I wasn't paying attention. So it makes it a little bit more difficult, but that's all right, we got this. So let's go ahead and finish this here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Need to bring this up a little bit here. Like that. Now the next thing you need to do is you want to go over here to effects and presets and we'll type in key and you'll get several options under images and utilities. You want to go to the last one, which has got the key light cleaner and the spill suppressor, and you want to drag that to your clip. You don't necessarily always need to use all of these, but it's always nice to have them all because they give you a lot of uh, ability to really make your green screen look awesome. So now what we want to do is under key light, you want to go to screen color, click on the eyedropper tool and click on either the highlights or the mid range. This seems to work best for me to get the uh, best green screen from here. So I'll go ahead and click about right here and that looks pretty good. However, to check and make sure how good this really is, we want to go over to view here and we want to select screen mat. And now you can see that it's not that great. You have some light blending in from the green screen and you got some gray on the white so what we want to do here is we want to tweak the gain just a little bit to get that down it looks good and then we want to offset the white here the same that looks good but it's not good enough yet so the next thing we need to do is go over here to screen mat and we'll lower the clip white until we try to get all most of that gray out and that looks better and we want to offset that by doing a clip black here. And that looks pretty good. So now that we have that, we want to go to view again and we want to click on final result. And I'll uh, go through this a little bit and see what we have here. It actually looks pretty good. Now I ain't doing anything with it right now, but the key cleaner actually cleans up the edges around um, the key. As you can see, there's like a lot of pixelation here. Now watch what key cleaner does. It smooths it out, it makes it nice, and you can tweak it and you can get rid of uh, chatter if you have that, which is where it bounces around and you can adjust the upper contrast and all kinds of things. And the spill suppressor, I'm not really gonna do it here, 
but what it does, see there's a little bit of green here, a little bit of green here. It helps you get rid of the extra spill. Anyways, let's go ahead and render this and uh, see what it looks like. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Who knew the editing of the turtles was real and serious? Oh. Anyways, if you found this tutorial useful and entertaining, let me know by hit saying splish splash in the comments below. And also, if you haven't already and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button also and hit the bell to be notified of future videos. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, I'm done.